Так, ну, вроде как здесь эта часть завершается. А, тут еще вроде как кардинал будет ждать. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Exhausted. I better go to bed. No, I'll search my room tomorrow. If mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. очков сейчас навыков получим в предметах можно было конечно больше найти надо было в комнату элизабет переться ну да ладно О, 8 очков так что же нам там пригодится наука полностью уклонение этикет Политику, что ли? Так. Предметы надо глянуть. Какой манускрипт будем использовать, если что у нас есть. Так. Манипулирование. Убеждение есть. Убеждение. Не знаю, политику взять. Убеждение один. Ну и на следующей стадии, скорее всего, все навыки у нас будут. Это уж точно. vision yesterday I saw that mother had this room before me I better search the room who knows maybe she left me something behind I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Nothing. Writing material.
here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Someone's picked some lemons. I'd be surprised if my mother didn't help herself to a few. She was always going on about the surprising properties of lemons. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer, Louis-Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother. You undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Первый раз. У меня вроде все с первого раза получилось. Раз послание данное проявляется лимоном чем-то другим и когда смотрел Куплинова, когда он проходил в данный момент он то ли пеплом насыпал, то ли поджег страницу короче пол послания спалил и сидел хохотал все нахрен уничтожил короче ну в данном случае возьму все предметы которые лежат здесь лимон, чернила там, и правильным предметом проявлю послание А, не лимонным соком. Вроде как нагревается. Или... По-моему, нагреть надо, не помню. По-моему, нагреть. По-моему, да, по-моему, нагреть. Если послание лимоном написано. Не лимоном жить при этом. Это еще сейчас тоже как, как куплинов наделаю дело. I think I've searched everywhere. Maybe I should try it out on the book. Aha! It's working! The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Since you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I'd better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. 
Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. начинается интересная стадия, где прежде чем спуститься вниз в гостиную на первом этаже, нужно прошарить все комнаты и все предметы пособирать. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Все правильно. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Piaggi, как будто дверь свою закрывает всегда. Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. Washington. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. Вот. В ее комнату надо попасть точно. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Собираем все, что есть. Dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Hey, a Russian ruble. I want a novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer mattered to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. Third of November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. Talk. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But 
they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. These are magnesium crystals, a fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. То есть, принимая кристаллы, такие можно быть невосприимчивыми к допросу, так что ли? Так, нет места. Просто один возьмем с халы. Так, ну если это шкатулка. A chest with a half circle pattern. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. Вот и все, в принципе, в ее комнате. Monsieur Johann von Wulner. Пока закрыта комната его, но потом в дальнейшем вроде как открою. Тут тоже то ли библиотека какая-то, или что. Jack Peru. Так, мы здесь модули. Закрыто. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Одурманивание. Выпредели четыре стимулирующих вещества. Ну, это как обычно. Шкала времени не отображается, это плохо. Золотой эликсир выпиваю. Вот. 
хоть будет куда предметы ложить. Тут мы все обшарили. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. To same место, где мы тут играли. A fragment of amber. Надо было точно в комнате Элизабет шариться. Шарится у меня. Ну тут дальше все закрыто. Might be better to take a different stairway. Теперь остается идти. будущее, если будете проходить, то лучше всего к Элизабет идти, только сначала в комнату уже копирую сходить, в эту ночную прогулку, когда больше предметов можно будет найти. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet, I really need to talk to you. Hello, you're Elizabeth Adams, aren't you? Yes. I regret that we haven't been properly introduced. You had us all worried last night. How are you feeling today? Better. I was just a bit queasy. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Do you really want to know what made me ill? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed, no. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. 
there must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've gotta go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? You're right, I... I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I... I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, thank you. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. базарить можно и тут парочку вещей и вот монетки golden elixir как нам надо туда мы сейчас со слугой побазарим what can i do for you sir i am at your service day and night sir ну вот то что он будет рассказывать про гостей ему запрещено про хозяина он не скажет про особняк он расскажет что к чему что куда Ну, ну, вот есть просьба. 
As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Ну и тут, короче, определенные навыки нужны будут, чтобы у него что-то из этих вещей взять. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. Ну и мы начинаем тут типа сами подклеим, так что манипулирование. Hang on, but it's mine. Beg pardon, sir? It's my book. I'm telling you, it's my book. With all due respect, sir, I hope sir will understand that I have doubts. You see, I found it in Lord Mortimer's library. Huh, there you are then. That's exactly where I left it. I am quite put out, sir. I don't know what to say. In that case, I suggest you say nothing and hand it over. But I... Now! But sir, I... Very well, sir. Here you are. May sir take good care of it. It is damaged. And you've damaged it as well? Oh, bravo! Bravo! No, no, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me, sir. Say pardon. Pardon me, sir. Very good. There were some other things I wanted to go over with you. A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Тут у него ко всему. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat has brought on my rheumatism. So, unless you have anything else to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank you. Oh, and, and the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, will get well again quickly. Anything else, sir? You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. That's fine. I have no intention of swallowing this remedy. You see, I generally use it to put the shine back on my shoes. But maybe you'd rather I ask permission from Lord Mortimer. Where is he? I'd like to tell him about my shoe problem. Sir need do nothing of the sort. There is no reason to disturb Lord Mortimer with this small matter. As you wish. Here you are, sir. I hope sir will have enough with one bottle, as I haven't any more. Oh, I'll make do. It's good of you to get this much. May I do anything else for sir? Ah, oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any devil's thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the Devil's Thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. Так, и у нас не вкачано это дерьмо. Убеждение, зараза. Но это потом мы его заберем. Очень жаль. Тогда янтарь. My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. Well, no point in lying, you know. I know full well you haven't got any. I would never think of lying, sir. I don't believe I am authorized to give it away, that is all. Amber? Here? I'd be surprised. Yet, I assure you, sir. No, you're pulling my leg. I don't believe you. I wouldn't dare to joke with, sir. Yeah, sure. You're just leading me on. I dare you to show it to me, if you really have some. Well, then, sir, here is a piece. Ah, right. Well, I'm impressed. 
Can you lend it to me for a minute? Of course, sir. Here. Wow. I can hardly believe it. Well, I have other questions. Of course, sir. But, sir, I believe you haven't given me back the amber, sir. What? What amber? The piece I gave to sir. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You really ought to look after your things. It can't be easy to come across amber in these parts. Ah, um, well, does sir desire anything else? Надо будет с ним потом поговорить и горцы забрать. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Oh, monsieur. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. <laughs> Surprisingly, you know Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the Rose Croix Order, former Freemason and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaggi fawning over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocol. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. Very funny, sir. A Prussian Britannic coalition is not good for France. The last time we fought against them, our empire went up in smoke. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity, typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely! If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. Oh, monsieur, you must be ah. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's ah. hard shell. Is everything all right? 
Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> My lord, I mm -hmm. only know the prestige of your name. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur... Louis Moras de Richet. <laughs> de Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary particle. Ah. Are you descended from a noble line? <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> the presence of a particle does not necessarily mean a person belongs to the nobility, nor does it prevent the observance of the rules of etiquette, Monsieur von Vonner. Thank you to Milan, yes. <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? <laughs> Have you any information on this <laughs> Napoleon? My friend. Ah. Maybe <laughs> Emily has an idea. Mortimer firmly believes in the young soldier. He's going to finance a military campaign with the backing of the Golden Order. It seems that Sarah gave it her blessing too. I didn't know that. Me neither. I'll give Sarah a piece of my mind. I don't know what mess she's gotten herself into, but for God's sake, she should have told us. You knew everything. You could have answered for me. That's true, but you have such a clever way with words. Does not know of her, sir. Monsieur de Richet, it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Thank you, Timmy Lawrence. Thank you, Timmy Lawrence. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'Or for 200 cannon. Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We're both young, but we are not naive. Please don't be offended. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And I am reassured. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I agree. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I, too, am delighted to have met you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. 
Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Washington is a very gifted speaker. Leave him for five minutes with sworn enemies and he'll convince them to be friends for life. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. называется третья часть так ну тут у нас одни успехи даже нечего добавить неудач нет развилок нет и даже шестой уровень достигли мощно Ну и, соответственно, у нас будут сейчас все навыки. Что вкачать, я даже не знаю. Какую-нибудь хитрость. Или вот что-то можно здесь завершить. Оп, уже второй уровень. Ну и куда-нибудь, не знаю. Будем иметь в виду, что психология максимальна. Остальное можно качивать. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Так, манускрипт. Какую-нибудь, я не знаю, политику. Манипулирование. 